Hello everyone, welcome to the IDLS Academy. In our previous lecture, we have discussed about the adulterants in oil. Today, we will be taking the milk and its product adulterants testing. So, beginning with the first test, let's uh, detect the presence of cane sugar in milk. Whatever the reagents, uh, what are the reagents required is uh, we need a resource in all solution that is of 0.5%. How we have to prepare this reagent? We have to wake 0.5 gram of resorcinol in about 40 ml of distilled water and to which we have to add 35 ml of concentrated HCl of 12 normality to it and make up to the volume of 100 ml using distilled water. It has a simple procedure. We have to take 1 ml of milk in a test tube and add 1 ml of resorcinol solution and mix it. Place the test tube in boiling water bath for 5 minutes and withdraw the tube and observe the color. Appearance of deep red color indicates the presence of sucrose or ketose sugar in the milk and it is said to be adulterated. And if it is not in pure milk sample no such red color is developed and sample remains white in nature as shown in the diagram. The first one is your control. The next one is your cane sugar is not present. That is the neg uh, for a negative test for the uh, result. And third diagram showing the cane sugar present that is the adulterated milk. Next test is your the detection of a starch in the milk. And for this we need a uh, iodine solution and how we can make this solution we have to make a uh, dissolve 2.6 gram of iodine and 3 gram of potassium iodide uh, potassium iodide in sufficient quantity of water and make up to 200 ml this is what our iodine solution is ready to uh, for test in procedure we have to take about 5 ml of milk in our test tube bring to boiling condition and allow the test tube to cool to room temperature now we have to add one to two drops of iodine solution to the test tube and if there occurs the development of blue color which, which indicates the presence of starch and hence it is said to be adulterated milk and if it, it disappears when sample is boil boiled and reappears on cooling and if starch is not present then the sample is showing with a, a light pale color in nature but appearance of blue color strictly indicates the presence of starch in it next test is your detection of urea if it is present in milk for this we requires a dmab reagent that is of 1.6 percent weight by volume for this we have to dissolve 1.6 gram of DMAB in 100 ml of ethyl alcohol and 10 ml of concentrated HCl. It involves the procedure mix 1 ml of milk and 1 ml of 1.6% DMAB reagent. If urea is present a distinct yellow color is observed in the milk containing the added urea and the control normal milk shows a slight yellow color due to the presence of natural urea so the diagram shows the negative test and a yellow color appearance in the milk test represents the positive test for the urea detection in milk and hence the milk is adulterated next is the detection of water in the milk it requires a simple technique that the presence of water can be uh, detected by putting a drop of milk on a polished slanting surface. The drop of pure milk either uh, flows slowly leaving a white trail behind it whereas milk adulterated water will flow immediately without leaving a mark and hence you can identify the types of uh, the mixing of water in the milk. Next is your formalin detection test that is the hence test in milk. For this you have to require uh, you have to take 10 ml of milk in a test tube of 0.5 ml of 1% ferric chloride solution. Now add slowly 5 ml of concentrated H2SO4 through the side of the test tube. 
the formation of purple ring will be seen at the junction if formalin is present and if formalin is present here the diagram shows the positive result having the purple ring in between the two layers of milk and the acid this uh, formation of ring represents the adulteration in milk with the formalin the negative test shows no appearance of such ring and it can be comparable with the control next test is the detection of detergent in the milk we have to take for this 5 to 10 ml of sample with an equal amount of water shake the content thoroughly if milk is adulterated with the detergent it forms the dense leather and pure milk form very thin foam layer due to the agitation next is your detection of starch in milk and milk products such as khoa chena paneer we have to boil 2 to 3 ml of sample with 5 ml of water cool it and add 2 to 3 drops of tincture of iodine if formation of blue color appears it shows the presence of starch and in the case of milk addition of water and boiling is not required so the appearance of blue color shows the uh, shows the result uh, shows the presence of starch in the milk and hence it is considered to be the adulterated milk and if it does not appear then it is the unadulterated or pure milk next test is the detection of mashed potatoes sweet potatoes and other starches in the ghee or butter the testing method involves take half teaspoon of ghee or butter in a transparent glass bowl add 2 to 3 drops of tincture of iodine formation of blue color indicates the presence of mashed potatoes or sweet potatoes and other starches the diagram shows the pure and adulterated ghee the appearance of blue color shows the presence of starch due to the presence of mashed potatoes in it next is the detection of vanaspati in sweet curd we have to take 1 teaspoon full of curd in a test tube add 10 drops of hydrochloric acid mix up the content shaking the test tube gently after 5 minutes examine the mixture the red coloration indicates the presence of vanaspati in the curd next is your detection of blotting paper in the rubbery take a teaspoon of rubbery in a test tube add 3 ml of hydrochloric acid and 3 ml of distilled water stir the content with a glass rod remove the rod and examine presence of fine fibers to the glass rod will indicates the presence of blotting paper in the rubbery next test is your detection of coal tar dye in milk khoa milk powder etc we have to add 5 ml of h2so4 or concentrated hcl to 1 teaspoon full of melted sample in a test tube shake well pink color in case of h2so4 or crimson color in case of hcl indicates the coal tar dye if hcl does not give color dilute it with water to get the color presence of beta naphthol detection test in milk milk is extracted with the chloroform and heated with the potassium hydroxide for few minute if a deep blue color appears it indicates the presence of beta naphthol test uh, the figure shows the presence of beta naphthol test positive appearance of blue color and a control next is the detection of benzoic acid and salicylic acid detection test in milk the procedure here 5 ml of milk taken to a test tube and few drops of concentrated h2so4 is added milk ppt will be formed now add 0.5% ferric chloride solution drop by drop if buff color will appear that shows the benzoic acid is present and if violet color will appear it shows the presence of salicylic acid 
द डायग्राम बिलो शोज बोथ द टेस्ट फर्स्ट द कंट्रोल इज टेकन एज अ नॉर्मल मिल्क द प्रेजेंस ऑफ बेंजोइक एसिड शोज द बफ अपियरेंस ऑफ द मिल्क एंड द प्रेजेंस ऑफ वॉलेट कलर इन द टेस्ट ट्यूब शोज द सेलिसिलिक एसिड प्रेजेंट इन द मिल्क Thank you for being with us. For more information, please log on to our website www.itlsacademy.com and register yourself. You can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, and yes, subscribe our channel ITLS Academy at YouTube.